hi guys i'm back again with another dress tutorial as you know all my dresses are always uh, very simple diy designs that do not require any patterns so this is my fabric it's folded and those are the measurements of the fabric so basically you need a large piece of fabric you measure from your bust up this is just uh, like your chest measurement right round through to your back then you multiply it by two and then you just go ahead and then you cut out that fabric Then I went onto the seam, onto the side, and then I put some pins, and then I basically, so I was planning to do an inverted seam here, so that's why I sold the fabric on the right sides. So there I'd already sold, and then I went ahead and then I turned it inside out, and then I ironed the seam. Then after ironing out, I went back again, and then I now sewed it down. So for this piece of fabric, it's just going to have one seam on the at the back. I'm going to position this seam at the back. So for the arms, I measured the circumference of my arms and then I just multiplied that by 2. My arms are about 12 inches and then I multiplied them by 2. So this blocks of fabric were 24 inches wide and the length will depend on where you want your, your sleeve to end. Then I just folded them enough like that and then I measured 2 inches and three inches down and then I just drew those lines and then I drew a curve and then I just go ahead and then I cut it out with the scissors so there I was just opening up my sleeves and then I went on to fold the ends of the sleeves because we're going to be inserting elastic on the sleeves so I folded about one inch
so this is going to be the armpit of the dress then I also did the same thing on the other side Then after that, I now started to uh, attach the sleeves to the main part of the dress. And I'll just line the armholes on the sides like that. And at this point, I had positioned the seam, that inverted seam at the back. I positioned it at the center. And that is going to be our back. Then I attach the sleeves, just putting pegs as I went along. Then I went on to sew it on the sewing machine. So after joining the pieces, you now go back again and then I switched my machine to a zigzag and then I started doing a zigzag stitch just to finish up the row edges. So there my, I had attached both my sleeves and then I went on to the top part of the dress. Then at first I, I folded in about half a centimeter down and then I ironed. Then I went back again and then I folded about an inch again down. This is where we are going to insert the elastic. So you just fold and iron and uh, I also put pegs to hold this in place. So that when I go into the sewing machine, it will stay in place. And then I just sewed it down like that. And remember to leave an opening to put the elastic. So there I had already sewed the topper. Then I took my elastic and then I used this pen refill thing. Then I just inserted my elastic like that. Then I started to insert my elastic using that little gap that I left.
about maybe two yards and then by five inches wide and then you make your own fabric belt and if you want you can also insert loops on the sides and also insert pockets thank you so much for watching this video and i'm going to see you in the next one i hope i see you in the next one don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye